Welcome back viewers. Uh, thanks for watching my other videos. Uh, we are continuing with our Excel functions uh, one stop shop and uh, today we are going to start with uh, the lookup family. We have already covered the text functions and some of the logical functions and statistical and math functions. You can see these videos in my uh, YouTube channel. So let's jump to the, our today's topic that is uh, lookup fam family. So as you can see I have the data set up already as I normally do just to save our time and uh, I have all uh, the functions uh, that are under this category over here as relative cell references, absolute cell references, address, choose, column and then at the end we have those xlookup, vlookup, hlookup and other uh, related functions so it's very very important topic and uh, we will not be able to cover all this in one video so make sure you subscribe uh, uh, the channel so that you can get a notification uh, for the upcoming video to complete the lesson so the first topic uh, uh, in this category is uh, the relative cell reference and uh, the absolute cell reference I am using these uh, topics uh, with the look of uh, category because it's very important to understand and to control the cell references when you are using the lookup uh, formulas so what is a relative cell reference a relative cell reference is that a cell reference that changes with the movement with the cell movement so for example uh, if I uh, type something just to explain this employee A, employee B, C, D, E, F and um, I say uh, uh, hours uh, worked for example 20 hours 25 hours 30 hours 25 hours 37 hours and 30 hours and uh, and we have different rates for example employee A is um, uh, 12 pound per hour and employee B has um, 12 12 pound per hour employee C is 17 per hour 15 pound per hour 10 pound per hour and 10 pound per hour and we want to find out uh, total wage uh, wage for each employee and in total so what we can do simply we can multiply the uh, hours worked with uh, uh, the per hour rate for employee so employee a weekly wage is 240 a pound if I just simply a uh, copy paste the uh, format over here just to uh, make things uh, a bit uh, clearer so this is um, uh, employee uh, employee name and uh, this is our worked and this is uh, per hour rate so this is we called uh, rate per hour and this is weekly which okay now we got because the data and we can see now I have calculated uh, the wage for the first employee if I just copy paste uh, the formula uh, if I just say copy and paste over here we can break it down as well so we can see employee a, a 240 pound employee b 300 pound employee c 510 pound employee d and so on and so on and so on so what is the relative references over here if we can see this formula over here this is uh, D21 this row and E21 uh, this row and when we copied the formula uh, to the next row uh, it has updated automatically to the next employee that is for uh, row number 22 and then we can see over here row 23 and then row 24 yes and row 25 and then row 26 and so on so these are the relative cell references that moves with the movement a cell reference that is updated with the movement automatically now what is this what is then absolute cell reference so absolute cell reference is for example instead of having this variable um, uh, hourly rates we have a fixed hour rate um, so rate per hour is for example 13 pound per hour for every employee regardless of uh, whatever the employee does or whatever the employee is whoever the employee is so we what we can do 
we can delete over here this okay we have to update the formula so hours worked multiply by per hour rate now we can see it is 260 pound for uh, the employee a but if this time i copy and paste uh, the formula uh, to the next row i get nothing the, the reason is the reason is uh, because uh, the cell reference is by default is uh, relative cell reference as you can see d21 by f16 so this is this is d21 and this is f16 and when i copied the formula to the next row what has happened the employee is updated but because of the relative cell reference that is by default uh, we have nothing um, in uh, the per hour rate so what we need to do we have to fix this uh, cell for all the employees what we can do we can simply put the dollar sign for both row and column to freeze that particular cell now if I copy and paste the formula you can see every time this per hour rate is fixed but the employee a uh, hours work is moving so this is a very very good example of a hybrid formula which is we can where we are using both a relative cell reference and a, an, an absolute cell reference d21 is a relative cell reference but f16 is an absolute cell, cell reference that is not using uh, that is not uh, moving uh, with the formula we can see over here okay so uh, you can see the format over here uh, if you put the dollar sign uh, before the row the row will be freezed but uh, a uh, the column um, number will be obviously moving if you put it before the column uh, column uh, number uh, the column will be freezed but the row is the, uh, will be relative but if you put the dollar sign before uh, the row and before the column then that particular cell will be uh, freezed here uh, a row is freezed here a column is freezed but here uh, that particular cell is freezed that is what we have used over over here so this is how you can use an absolute cell reference and and uh, the relative cell reference that is very very important when you are going to use uh, the lookup functions uh, so the next function in our list of functions in this category is address this is a very similar uh, to what we have uh, just discussed uh, an absolute cell reference or um, a relative cell reference let's see how this function works and what uh, the value of the returns if you have seen my previous videos uh, you can uh, you, uh, you might have known that uh, this is obviously uh, uh, the name of the function uh, these are uh, the arguments uh, the arguments without the brackets are the compulsory or mandatory arguments you have to pass these arguments otherwise the function will return a value or error the uh, uh, the arguments in uh, the brackets are the optional argument will not affect uh, the function outcome if you don't um, uh, provide these uh, this as an argument let's see how this work so if i is equal to um, address okay what is the row number you want to provide so the row number for example um, 25 and uh, uh, the column number for example 3 and we are not going to provide anything else at this stage so let's see what is uh, the outcome so outcome is it uh, gives you uh, and uh, that um, address uh, what we have just given as an argument uh, in form of text so this is a text value you can copy this uh, text and uh, uh, and use it if i just want to change this for example instead of uh, so the so um, the one is by default you can see over here there are four different options you can choose uh, uh, both um, uh, row and column absolute just absolute row and relative column for example two if i put two over here and just press enter so you can see so the row is absolute because of the dollar sign we just seen that and uh, that is freezed and uh, 
uh, column is uh, relative if I just want to change this that um, both row and column as relative I can choose option from from the list over here and it will give you a C25 you can change the format you are getting this in terms of R1 C1 style or A1 style so at the present at present it is giving you in A1 style so there are no R and uh, C to indicate the column and rows but if you want to put, uh, have that an R1 C1 style you can use uh, this means 0 so you here row 25 column 3 that is um, uh, um, a different style you can use uh, this cell reference as text so this is a very handy function to use if you want to um, depends uh, what are you looking to achieve um, uh, with this um, cell references as address the next function in the list is choose um, choose okay so this is um, return a value from the array for example uh, if I want a value um, from this array so this array is a C, uh, 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 so if I just put number 1 2 3 uh, over here and drag it down just for our uh, understanding uh, these are the numbers uh, in the array for each item if I choose is equal to uh, choose whatever user entered in box 4 from that list 4 and then you have to choose these separately you cannot use these as one range argument so you have to choose this uh, item as separately if I enter it says hash value because we have not given any value so if we want to give for example number 4 it will give you mouse over here you can see if I type number 9 it will give you headphone if I type number 1 it will give you CPU what uh, what these number represent these number represents the, uh, the the location of that item in an array if we can see over here these uh, this is our array and the very first argument is uh, the index if I just click over here so and delete over here again everything so index number is uh, the value uh, very first argument and then uh, the values uh, the array so index is uh, the particular location of that item you are looking in that particular array uh, that uh, uh, we have selected so you can use this uh, over as well if you want to but uh, depend we have much better uh, functions available uh, instead of uh, using choose function uh, and uh, from an array because uh, obviously these are this is a limited array we have only 10 or 9 or 10 items but if you have like hundred and thousands of items you cannot select uh, the array in this format like uh, each separate cell is, um, uh, on its own so um, not a very uh, handy function uh, in a sense uh, the way it is uh, used the next function in our uh, list is column as you can see it written column number of a reference so if I want to use this cell reference column and any cell uh, any column for example I want to see what is the column number of this cell we can see if I press it will return 9 so this is a column number 9 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 okay a similar function uh, is columns a slightly different it will return the number of columns between two ranges two cell references for example if I just delete this one is equal to um, columns this is columns this is not columns the previous one was columns select columns and then I will select for example I, I want to see how many columns are there in this invoice from item code to total I want to see this so there are six columns one two three four five six columns if I want to see change for example columns 
I need three items, for example, this. So number of columns three depends how you want to use these functions. Uh, but the people who are doing coding or using Visual Basic uh, 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 for uh, different tasks are very sometimes uh, uh, in need of uh, the number of columns or the number of rows or a specific number, specific row. So these are very handy in terms of finding those things out. Uh, and if I delete this, the next function is row and rows. It's, it's very, very similar to row, column and columns. So if I want to see a row, a row of a particular cell, if I want to see what row is this item code is on, is I can see that row number is 6. And if I want to see the number of rows between two cells, for example, number of rows between these items are nine rows yes from one to nine likewise if you want to change is equal to rows rows are in here you can find that out by simply using this row function so we have seen uh, these uh, relative cell reference absolute cell reference address choose column columns row and rows function and uh, I want to st I would like to stop over here and then uh, next video I will start using some of the more advanced functions filters formula text and hyperlinks and transport indirect and then uh, in the for uh, coming video we are going uh, to use those uh, lookup functions uh, which uh, is obviously the most important topic of uh, uh, this uh, this lesson so if I want, if I go back to my uh, main sheet, uh, we have used, uh, we have seen uh, these few uh, functions today, and uh, we are going to cover all the rest of the functions um, yeah, which are listed under this uh, this category, and we are going to cover all uh, all categories uh, one by one. Uh, so it is um, uh, very very handy, a very very a, a good. Uh, guide uh, for all the functions so make sure you subscribe uh, to our channel so that you can get notification for the new upcoming video thanks for watching